What's up guys? It's me and Ronald Bomber. Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Explain. Now, uh, just a heads up guys, uh, like I said, I am currently in the middle of doing something important. I am in the middle of moving, uh, moving into a house right now, and uh, my microphone is currently packed, so please forgive me for that. Uh, but without further ado, let's just get into this uh, next Kingdom Hearts Explain. And today I will be talking about the Unversed. Now, the Unversed are actually explained pretty well, despite the fact that they were only present in one game, that being Kingdom Hearts Breath by Sleep. I mean, yes, they do appear again in Kingdom Hearts 3, but Kingdom Hearts 3 isn't out yet, so <laughs> shut up and listen. Okay, so Unversed aren't actually linked to either Nobodies or Heartless, despite their very similar natures. Actually, Nomura made them only because he wanted to introduce a proper enemy for the game since Heartless weren't fully discovered and started running amok. Now technically, all Unversed are natural. Unlike Heartless, who have manufactured versions, Unversed are like Nobodies, in which all of them are natural. However, unlike Heartless, or nobodies, they don't come from specific people. As a matter of fact, they only come from one person. His name is Vanitas. After Xehanort split up Ventus's heart in two and Vanitas was born, Vanitas was filled to the brim with negative emotions. These negative emotions took shape and thus made the unverse. So unlike Heartless who are made of darkness from people, or nobodies who are made from the leftover bodies and souls of people, Unversed are made simply from Vanitas's negative emotions. Because these creatures are made from negative emotions, their actions are based off evil emotions, of course, and intentions. Also, Unversed don't follow orders from anybody except for Vanitas himself, simply because he's the person who is serving as their source. Now, Unverse don't have any specific coloring, unlike Heartless or Nobodies. Uh, they can be blue, green, purple, it depends on the Unverse, but Unverse never look like humans. Uh, now, just like Heartless, Unverse are also mainly attracted to emotions in people's hearts and they seek out that stuff. For the Unverse, they seek out hearts because they give proper negative emotions that are tied with fear. Now, here's the thing about the Unversed. When you defeat them, the Unversed may seem to have just disappeared, but they are not actually gone. When they are defeated, the negative emotions that make them just go right back into Vanitas, so the quantity of Unversed don't decrease actually, ever. Actually, when you defeat Unversed, Vanitas feels more negative emotions than he did before, which only spawn more Unverse, so it's kind of counterproductive. There is only one way to defeat the Unverse for good, and that is to eliminate Vanitas completely. So long as he is dead or his heart no longer exists, Unverse will never appear. This is why they only appear in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and never again in any other game. Well, except for Kingdom Hearts 3. Because after Ventus defeated Vanitas and his heart was shattered, all Unversed that were linked to him cease to exist. Now, of course, with the recent Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers, we know that Vanitas is back, and of course, that means the Unverse have returned. Well, guys, that's really it. Um, Unverse, they uh, aren't really that earth-chattering with uh, information like the Nobodies or the Heartless, so that's really going to do it for me for this video. Um, next video, I will be talking about Dream Eaters, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys are kind of subscribed. Hope you guys sponsor my channel. This has been Nora Little Bummer, and I'm out.